people see Shakespeare and they're like, oh no, I can't see Shakespeare. That What are they even saying? I don't know. <laughs> but I think Shakespeare can be very accessible and it's very timeless and it's funny. It's so funny. It's about love. It's about wit, intelligence, the full spectrum of both. You turn on TV and you see a series like White Lotus or something. The best stuff is stuff that is very funny, but careens into all of a sudden life or death stuff. When I look at the play and, and the full spectrum of love that's explored, um, specifically young, new, fresh, raw love, and then you add to that the 90s grunge sound, which is so back to basics. I'm really excited to see what our sound designer, uh, Josh Schmidt, and our composer and music director, Dan Cazzini, are going to bring to this because I trust them both implicitly. The beauty of Shakespeare's text is it reminds us of how universal the human experience is and not only how it translates into the 90s, for example, but it may help us link how the 90s are still relevant today. And there's live music. That is definitely a plus. I play the guitar, I play bass, and I'm going to be playing some drums too. So we're, we're all going to run the whole gambit. I've heard that we're going to sort of take turns featuring different members of the band. So whilst one of us comes forward, the others will grab different instruments and support them. So it's, it's going to be a good, a good showcase um, of Shakespeare, which I think is a really great thing for Milwaukee Rep to keep alive within, uh, within our artistic organization.